Hey guys, welcome at my first yoga video. Uh, my name is Mariska and maybe you know me from my yoga classes at the Food Gathering. Uh, this first video will be a very dynamic yoga practice of 10 minutes and it will uh, get you ready for your session. So make sure that you first start with your own warming up and then this is a very suitable way to do a dynamic yoga stretch uh, session after you're warming up and after that uh, the session. Let's get started. Let's get onto hands and knees. Uh, make sure that you spread your fingers super wide uh, because they will protect your wrists. And claw them all very strongly into your uh, mat. And bring the knees directly underneath the hips. Same for the toes. You want to spread them super, super wide. Um, and if you can't spread them, then fake it till you make it. And we're going to start with a warm up for the wrists and the hips and the toes. So press yourself all the way back, like you're doing an active child pose. And press the fingertips into the floor, walk the fingertips all the way forward, but still pressing your hips back. And from there, spread your fingers wide again on the floor. And then let's lift the knees just a few centimeters above the floor. And make sure that you bring the, the belly in, the navel in, so you protect your spine. Now from here, let's roll forward, stretch it all out. Make sure you press your shoulder blades into the upper body. And slowly come back and the knees are still off the floor. So there's a lot of core muscle activity here. And let's roll forward again. And make sure your neck is in one line with your spine. Now slowly come back. Spread your fingers wide, spread your toes. And see if you can do this on the in and the exhale. So inhale, moving forward, stretching out. And as you see, on the exhale, pressing back, moving through the shoulders, through the knees. Let's do one more. Move all the way forward and back. Now place the knees back on the floor. Take one more active child pose. And then when you're ready, Let's do some spinal rolls. So you coil forward, bring the knees off the floor again, and see if you can bring your shoulders very, very far forward. Then bring the knees back, round your spine, coil back, active child pose. And one more time, coil forward, knees off the floor, stretching out, making yourself long, and exhale. <laughs> Maybe make some sound effects. Make yourself very long in this one. And then from there, bend your elbows. And roll chin chest towards the floor, bending the elbows. And drop yourself. Now from here, press yourself up from the strength of the arms. Opening up the chest, dropping the hips, pressing the feet into the floor, maybe closing your eyes for a moment. Then bring your chin back to the chest. And try to roll completely back. One more time. Let's move forward. Try to move super slow motion. Press the feet into the floor. Lifting up, belly in. Shoulders away. And come back. Active child pose again. All right, from this active child pose, press everything very strongly into the floor. And then the hips come up like it's moving automatically into a down dog. Shoulders broad, neck relaxed. Now move the heels a bit. Um, walking your dog, they call this. Moving the hips, moving the shoulders. Don't think about doing this perfect, but try to feel everything completely here. You want to ground down completely. And when you exhale, knees down again. Let's drop down like we just practiced. Moving towards your cobra, shoulders away, inhale, and one more time. Now this time, move as slowly as possible. Try to feel everything completely. 
bring the heels back. And you don't have to touch the floor with the heels. You can also be a bit up, maybe move a bit if you need to. And then from here, let's bring one leg up and try to have everything in one line. So we want to have the upper leg in one line with the upper body and then the hips leveled. So never open up your hip here, always have it leveled. And then when you roll forward, make sure you use all the core muscles for a dragon flow. Now drop down, elbows down and back. Whew. It's a little bit like a, a breakdance move. <laughs> Opening up, shoulders broad, inhale and exhale. Coming back. Let's do it on the other side. So I'm not saying left or right because we want to um, feel more and think less. So just move without thinking, but try to feel as much as possible. Now move forward, drag and flow. Try to have everything strong. Use your breath on an exhale, drop, elbows back. And come back to your cobra. Inhale, shoulders broad. And exhale, slowly come back. Now let's have a small pause here by walking the feet back, uh, forward, maybe with long legs to challenge your hamstrings and then drop down. It doesn't matter if you need to bend, uh, need to bend the knees. Um, do that, especially when you have some tenderness in the lower back or maybe some very, very tight hamstrings. And then drop down completely. And maybe you wanna move a bit from left to right just to stretch the sides of the spine. Hmm, should feel very relaxing, just giving the shoulders and the wrists a break. And if you can, place the tops of the hands onto the floor, stretching the wrists here, dropping your shoulders again, dropping your head. And on slow motion, roll up, take your time. Now bring the arms up, inhale. Come onto the toes, very nice for the ankles here. Shoulders broad. Inhale, and when you exhale, swan dive down with broad arms, straight back, spread your fingers, spread your toes, or fake it till you make it, and take two big steps back to your down dog again. Now feel this grounding, feel the grounding of the hands and the feet. This is the most important part of your down dog. Let's drag and flow again. Bring one leg up, choose one leg, have it all leveled, move forward, very strong for the shoulders, drop down, exhale, inhale, roll up, cobra, shoulders back, and exhale, bend your knees, let's do the other leg, inhale, exhale, um, a beautiful slow motion, dragon flow here, coming up, inhale, and exhale, come back. Nice. One more time. Grind, ground down. This is very important. Grounding down. Shoulders broad. Neck relaxed. And now we're going to add something. So maybe you feel that there's already a bit, a bit of heat coming into the body. Now bring your leg up one more time. Dragon flow forward. Belly in. Now see if you can place your foot on the outside of the hands. So we are in... Uh, a dragon. Now from here, place your back heel onto the floor. Let's um, check if we can open up a bit here. So pressing the toes of the long leg up. Make sure that the knees are okay here. It's quite intense for the knees. We are in a skandasana stretch. And you can do all kinds of things here. Uh, do whatever feels good. If this isn't uh, not if this is not available for you, then really try to maybe bring your hands on the floor or get it up a bit higher. This is a very low one. If you can do it, try to have your heels on the floor. And then from here, without using the hands, moving towards the other side, maybe make it a nice ninja move. <laughs> and then from there, just flow through the hips from left to right. Stay breathing, stay feeling. This is really, really nice for the inner thighs, inner thighs um, the hips. Alrighty, when you are back at the front, let's move back 
to a low lunge. Press your hands into the floor. Lift the leg back up. Stretch it out. And let's try the same thing on the other side. So now bring your other leg up. Move forward. Now place your foot on the outside of the hands. Dragon. And now I'm going to show you my butt. <laughs> because we are moving towards the other side. So really try to move here. So same thing. Maybe if you stay low, maybe you stay up a bit high. Do whatever feels good for you. Now move. Maybe your ninja thingy here. You can also use the hands if you need to. And don't count, just, just move as much as it feels good. And you can stay low or be a bit higher. Let's do one more. If it feels good for the hips. And yes, find yourself way back. And low lunge, nice for the hips. Let's get back, stretch your leg out. Inhale and exhale. Bring your foot back. Let's roll one more time forward. Now this time, cool your full body. Round your spine, belly in. Until the shoulders are above the hands. Now drop down, slow motion. And lay down your body. <laughs> ah, should feel nice. Relax. Bring your hands all the way back. Interlace the fingers. This will strengthen the full back body. Also a nice stretch for the shoulders, inhale. Lifting up, maybe also lifting the legs. Neck is always relaxed, so you wanna look towards the mat. Stay breathing. Just a few breaths here, maybe you wanna stay here. This is, this is beautiful. Um, if you wanna go a bit more into a deeper one, bring the arms forward, lift up even higher. Try to activate all the muscles. And so they come back. Yes, interlace. Stretch out. Lift up. One more time. Move forward. And move back. Interlace. One more time. Inhale, lift up. And let's have a moment to relax here. Shake the hips. Ah, nice. And from here, let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders. And see if we can move all the way to yogic squats. So we wanna have the feet as wide as your mat. And just be here for a moment. You can stay here, close your eyes, or you can place your fingertips onto the floor, lifting the hips for a nice hamstring stretch, dropping down, relax the neck. I'll slowly come back and this one I often call <laughs> yogi twerk. <laughs> so I come back up, stretch and come back. So all moves are very slow, uh, which makes it um, strong, but also very focused and relaxing at the same time. Alrighty. Yogi squat, and from your yogi squat, let's move forward onto the knees and take one second in your child pose, just to relax. You can also bring the hands forward if it feels better. And slowly move back up to your zaiza, Japanese sitting. Close your eyes just for a second. Just relax the shoulders. And just feel the body for a moment. Nothing fancy here, following the breath. And then um, I think you are ready for your session. Arigato. Thank you for joining. If you made it all the way up here, uh, send us a like. If you are still smiling, uh, consider subscribing. 
good luck with your session and I hope to see you again soon. Arigato.